Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the second Sunday of Lent. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. I want us to pay attention of the trusting in God because the readings that we have today wants us to consider the will of God, especially in moments when the will of God is calling us, is asking us to do something that can be hard, to do something that can be difficult. Are we going to do the will of God even if it can be difficult? The answer is yes. We are always to do the will of God. Easy it may be or difficult it may be. The first reading tells us of the call of Abram. Of course, we know Abram will become Abraham, the father of faith. And so Abram is being called by God to leave his homeland, to leave his father's house, to leave the comfort and the safety of his own people. So he will go where God is directing him to go. God promised him he will make himself fruit. He will be fruitful. He will be blessed. He will be given a new land, a promised land. And in this, Abram trusted in God. And so he did as God directed him. It is difficult, you see, to go away from the comfort of your home. We have to imitate this faith and belief of Abraham. The very faith in God will enable us to do what must be done in order to realize the will of God. So now the second reading. When we come to the second reading, St. Paul is telling Timothy, share or bear the hardships that is in the proclamation of the gospel with the strength that comes from God. So in the work of evangelization, in the living out of our faith, we are not promised that there will be a, an easy way of the work of evangelization and of the living out of the Christian faith. There will be challenges, there will be sacrifices to be made. So we have to bear them and carry them through. And so there will be things that will be difficult, that will be hard, but we have to do them. In the second reading, the underlining of the grace of God at work. Jesus Christ died for us, therefore there is grace, abundant grace for us to be able to do what must be done. All we have to do when it is the will of God, do it. So the gospel. Here we are being given the narrative of the transfiguration. Usually what is being reflected here is that there is a transfiguration before the passion of the Lord in order to give the confidence of the victory ahead. In order that the disciples, the apostles, may not fall into despair that, yeah, maybe everything is lost. No, I want us that in this gospel, we are also going, we try also to see the will of God, that Jesus will do, even if it will require him to make the ultimate sacrifice, the giving of his life for humanity. And indeed, he mentioned, do not tell anyone until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. So there is already the, the, the foresight of his coming death. And so we always have to see here, God's will can be hard. And in fact, in the example of Jesus Christ, doing the will of the Father, to the ultimate sacrifice. For us, this second Sunday of the Lenten season, 
Why is it hard to do the will of God? Especially the doing of the will of God, like that of Abram, or like that of Jesus Christ, God's will for him to die for others. So, for us, three things, I believe, that makes it difficult. First is the idea of the fear of the unknown. All the more that it's hard for us to do because we are afraid of the unknown. There is a challenge of the leap of faith. The leap of faith. Doing God's will, even if it's difficult, it still must be done. Because though we do not know the unknown, God knows everything. We just have to trust in Him. Though we do not know the future, God knows the future. God is with us. So to enable us to do His will. The second idea why, why it is difficult to do the will of God, especially when it is hard, is the idea of powerlessness. Yes, especially when it is hard. Yes, we can say, well, I am powerless. We can be overwhelmed. But we have to understand as well that though we can be powerless, God is powerful. Though the problem is big, but it will never be bigger than God. That is why we have to do what must be done if it is God's will. We can be powerless, but God will not leave us alone. He will always act with us. He will make it, He will realize what is destined for, for us to do. Because after all, it is His will and we are just being His instruments. Uh, the third reason why it is hard many times for us to do the will of God is the attitude of, of success. We want success. Therefore, we are afraid to fail. The fear of failure. It is understandable. And God knows that. But remember, God can never lose. God can never be defeated. God is always victorious. We may be fearing the failure. But God can never be a failure. And so we have to trust in Him. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. So let us trust God. And so when therefore we are able to understand how the will of God works, therefore there's nothing to be afraid. His will must be done and we have to do it even if it can be hard. So for this second Sunday of the Lenten season, I want us to consider two things to do concretely in our own lives. First of all, build in ourselves an awareness of God's presence. We have to always be aware God is present. God is with me. The strong sense and confidence of the presence of God. When we lose sight of God's presence, we think we are abandoned. We think we are alone. No, God never abandons and we are never alone. Let's build our confidence in divine presence. The second thing we have to do is this. We must have the attitude and the understanding that God will never give something that is greater than our capacity. So, if God wills it, it means we can do it. Even if it can be difficult, it means still it is doable because God's grace will enable us to do what must be done. So, we cannot say, I cannot do it. We always have to say, yes, I can in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is why even St. Paul will say it. I can do all things in Him who gives me strength. So let us also have that kind of attitude in this second Sunday of the Lenten season. Let us be empowered 
to imitate all the more the Lord Jesus Christ who did the will of God even to the ultimate sacrifice of his life for the salvation of all. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so. Give us a thumbs up. And share this video to others.